the more things change, the more they stay the same. When we first drove the 2017 Ford Escape back in May 2016 with the powerful 2.0-liter EcoBoost engine, crossovers were booming dash second only on the sales charts to full-size pickups. It's now early 2017, and guess what? Crossovers are still booming. The only difference is, we're spending a week in a less powerful Escape equipped with a smaller, 1.5-liter EcoBoost engine and we're not sure it's up to snuff in this cutthroat gov market. Let's set the stage for the task the 179 horsepower, 1.5 liter escape has in front of it. These crossovers are volume vehicles, selling in the hundreds of thousands every year. Competition is fierce, the stakes are high, and the payoff for building a hit is immense. To put this in perspective, the Escape sits in fourth place among Cubs according to the January 2017 sales numbers, with Ford moving 20,588 of them last month. That makes it the eighth best-selling vehicle overall in the U.S., and the best-selling domestic vehicle that's not a full-size pickup, not too shabby, right? This is the big leagues. The problem is that all the direct Cub competitors that matter crowd above it. The Honda CR-V currently has the 2017 Cuff sales crown, with 29,287 units, followed closely by the Nissan Rogue, 28,760, and Toyota Rob 4, 22,155. Honda and Toyota are also playing for keeps. The CR-V and Rob 4 are better than they've ever been, comfortable, quiet, powerful, and stuffed with convenience options and the 2017 CR-V, which impressed us with its various improvements as well as the powerful and efficient 1.5-liter turbocharged 4 from the Civic, erodes one of the Escape's draws, a choice of two turbocharged engine options. 2017 Ford Escape Sport Appearance Package In our first experience with it, we liked a lot about the 2017